Hey guys, Chris here for The Process. Uh, the first episode you saw us working on redoing blind in terms of the design, the wireframes, that kind of stuff. Now we got notification from the developers and they're going to show us the first pass at what they've been able to do and turn into code. Now it's living and breathing. I'm really excited to see it, but it's a gamble. Sometimes you get what you want and sometimes you don't. And I'm optimistic. Let's check it out. Let me try this again. I want you guys to listen to me. Yeah. I design sandwiches. My name is Jose Caballet and I talk about the design of business. <laughs> the des I talk about a lot of stuff. My name is Chris Doe and I talk about the business of design. At the center of this operating system, it's about understanding. <clears throat> Jose, can we just tell them what the show title is? I hate you, dude. You are watching The Process. This would be the, the blog index page. So we've got some featured articles up here that load in as you scroll. Why does it say work? The blog index, but I think that's just that's not oversight, right? right? Okay. Yeah. Blog should be highlighted. See how nothing escapes my eye. I know. <laughs> it's a point. demo. Come on, Chris. Come on. What kind of B-level work is this? So this one is working pretty well. Um, I think I need to add the pagination back in here so that we can page through these in place. Okay. Scroll down. Are these quotes? Mm -hmm. Okay. These are from the inspiration. Okay. Tab hey, on how the many do they have in there? Just I just one? we just have this one. Oh no, we put in another one. Okay. I don't like that it resizes like that. No. It should probably be one size to well, accommodate think, the longer quote, and then we go from there. I think most of the quotes that we have are fairly short, mm -hmm. so I don't expect that we oh, have anything like this. Oh, somebody put it in this long Ipsum. Yeah. Thing. Okay. But we should say it should be fixed. I don't like it bouncing up and down. Is that okay. okay? Yeah. You cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Totally cool All right, cool let's with see that. the next page. Okay. So then from that blog index, you could click on any one of the articles. Mm -hmm. This is the sample article page. So mm -hmm. this is drilling down deeper. Right. Okay. Deeper within the blog. Mm -hmm. um, each of these links would navigate to the project mm. because we have project pages for both of these. Okay. I like how clean and open everything looks. Yeah. This is very similar to your comp, right? So I'm not mm -hmm. gonna talk too much about this. All right. Yeah, this, pa this page is almost spot on in terms of the design, okay. I think. All these type sizes look correct. Um, these look a little big. When you say spot on, you mean like pixel perfect? Or yeah, right? it's. I think it's pretty pretty close. I, I believe that's the term, pixel perfect. Pixel perfect. Okay, so capabilities. I haven't looked at this one yet. So all the animation's gonna need to happen way faster. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, you know what? These these sections are too tall. Also. Okay. It should be about two thirds of the size. Okay, some tweaking there. Right, but this is the capabilities page where we'll. We'll provide an overview um, for each type of service mm -hmm. that we're capable of and then call out some specific things we can do. It's looking good. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just like how clean and open everything is. Yeah. I don't think we want these page titles to animate. I think it's no. too much. I think we want to be really selective with where we put the web animation and how much we I use. Agree. So maybe we'd have a featured event up here at the top uh -huh. and then an index of all the events. Also, I think we added a call to action here for planning speaking engagements since the last time we looked at this. When, when do we need to talk to them about specific things? Like right now, do we just leave them alone, let them continue working on it? Or are you going to give them notes about speeding up timing and adjusting things? Uh, we should probably email them and ask them when, you know, at what point are they going to be ready for notes and, you okay. know, done with their first pass. All right. Because I'm not sure how much time they need. Okay, so how do you plan on marking this up or communicating this needs to be taller or smaller? Um, I will probably just go into the CSS and give them CSS values, so. No. Yes. No. You cannot do that. Why can't I do that? Because I forbid you to do it. Why? That's not the way you work. Imagine if a client opened up your Illustrator file and moved things around and said, yep. That's what I want. But what if what if I'm looking at this and I don't know, you know, I think this type size looks too big or too small, but I'm not sure how much. I can go into Firebug and change the value and Don't make get sure all technical right. and tell me about <laughs> Firebug. You trying to impress some boys on the internet? No. <laughs> Come on. Just relax there with Firebug. What I would say is just make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And we'll bump that down a point or two points and work with them. It's a style sheet. It shouldn't be that hard to do. Okay. Okay? Here's what I would recommend and prefer you do. You're a designer and you're leading the project. So I would want you to screen cap and use annotate and mark it up. It's like you draw a red arrow, move that up to there. Make this a little bigger. Yeah, make it's this not like, smaller. 
I, I need you to let go of some of the control issues. Okay. <laughs> and within no. a margin of error, it should be okay. Overall, they're, they're, they're nothing is just come, jumping out at me and saying, this is the worst th thing ever, and I need to call them right now. Which is a good thing. That's good. That's a really good thing. Because sometimes you see the first pass, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah. This looks nothing like what we talked about. Like, look at my arms right there. I was in pretty good shape. <laughs> look at that. You see that? You see my trunk? Look, you right can there? see your abs too. Dude, dang. <laughs> no, I was just messing around. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so this is the capabilities page. We Are you changed... saying I'm fat now? What? No, oh, okay. not at all. all right. uh, so we changed the core values to a slideshow. Skip over. That's Matt. I don't want you to see him. He's okay. in good shape. Okay, that's our team. Cool. Yep. And then let's look at. This is going to be Matthew. This one. I see. I sent some favoritism. <laughs> That's basically scraped from our old site. Yeah, just repositioned okay, things. Okay. Great. Um, then we've got these modules in here, so you can click right, his through to, to Matthew's work or it's like the uh, Amazon cart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My we suggest. recommendations for yeah. you. <laughs> we needed to redesign the website because of a couple of issues. One was we hadn't changed the website in years, and People make this mistake quite often. You design a website and you walk away from it. You don't update the content, you don't update the format. And lots of things change within web standards and there's more and more screen sizes you got to consider and new technology. But more importantly, if you've been following along with this story, we have to change the messaging that's on the site. So what we want to do now is talk about what it is that we're doing, show case studies, and then show the work somewhere within that. And it's that kind of hierarchy. We want people to care about what it is that we're saying, what we're trying to do, before we show them the work. Case studies now? So this would be an index for the case studies, where we have these huge images to feature these projects. Great. They're all our branding projects, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's look at the, the case study detail page. Hey. What happened? Wait, wait. Shouldn't that go full bleed? It should. All right. It should. It needs to scale up for this window. Okay, that's a note. Because it's not displaying correctly, I can't see the right arrow. So here's some sections. So these might describe, like, here's all the stuff we did regarding print or the web, and then, and then we could group those images together. What's determining the spacing on this? This is not, in, oh, this is a vertical image? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. So there's probably a break here. I mean, if we wanted them to overlap, we could just have to tell them. Uh, so this would be another version of a work index page. Case studies was one. This is all projects. Right. So here we theoretically would be able to filter down to specific types of work and also by director. Mm. And I believe with this page, once you get to the bottom, it would just load more. So you never have to click on anything to get more work. The old infinite scroll. The infinite scroll. And then hover state the black and white images turn to color? Yeah, they should turn to color and probably display the, the name of the project also. So they don't do that right now? They don't. Okay. And then here's the last of the three types of work index pages, which is featured. So the case studies were used images that were the full width, and then all projects was three columns, and then this is two. Last page. Okay, and then this is the last page, and this is the work detail page. So this is similar to the case study, uh, but the, the, uh, the intro block here is a little bit different different information and then there's also less variation in the layout as you dig deeper so where we had that you know open white space and multiple columns this would be a little more straightforward okay um, maybe two columns at most mm. another image that doesn't go full bleed yet right and then we put the credits all the way at the bottom okay instead of having them as a tab at the top and then right. again related projects Right. All right, so that was a very promising first pass. There's a couple little notes here and there in terms of, um, I'm sure things that they would catch on their second pass on this. I, when do I need to get you the copy for the home page? We can put in the copy anywhere between now and whenever you want to launch the site, so. I want to show you something. I make checklists all the time. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, I make checklists all the time, and one says here, where is it? Write copy for blind landing page and it's still unchecked. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, a, this is a little while ago. Um, yeah, so, all right. I need to get some rescued over this cold so I can be a, a state of mind to write the copy. But I'm pretty sure I know what needs to be said. Okay. This looks really good. I'm really excited about this launching. And so 
w do we have an expectation as to the date in which this is going to launch? The development was supposed to be done at the end of this month, at the end of September. Okay, so no later than the end of this month, yeah. end of September, that's cool. So I guess the next time I'm going to review this with you, like next on this episode of Catching Up with Jamie, <laughs> is going to be us looking at the site kind of more in a functioning way where the links work. Because mm -hmm. there's not a lot of design changes, which is good, good news for us, right? Okay, this is great. Since it's an internal project, I can manage the client, okay. <laughs> meaning me. Um, I'd like to get it out. There's some new marketing initiatives that we need to undertake once the site is launched. Like our salespeople are going to start selling us differently now that we're leading with brand strategy instead of doing the motion design work. So the whole arc, our last two and a half years or so, will be complete. Meaning we dabbled, we proved a theory, mm -hmm. and we now built up enough to say that with confidence, this is what we do now. Love us, please. <laughs> please love us. All right, guys. Us. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. two girls we'll be talking to them next but not today <laughs> they won't even they're pretending not to hear me or see me or acknowledge that we exist man you all right you ready for your camera debut